hello and welcome everyone in today's video we are gonna do some basic mathematics in lab view like for example we will calculate variance standard deviation mean and other basic principles of mathematics in lab view so first of all we will just go on to our lab view front panel and then what we need is we want the set of data basically so there are two ways to create the set of data either you will have some file or you would have some uh, array basically so it means that if i want to create the set of data then i can create an array this way so it means that i can enter any of the uh, amount or the numbers that i want within this array then this will show me uh, the set of data in the form of this array but we will not do this way we will go with other way and we will use a for loop and generate a simple set of data from 1 to 1000 so here if i create 1000 then by using a plus one increment i will have an array of 1000 numbers like if i create an indicator in here then this will again give me an array of 1000 numbers basically so if i just elongate it then i find out that this will go up to 1000 numbers so i will just delete this out this array and now i will move on to calculating the mean of these 1000 numbers so to calculate the mean we know that we have just to sum up all the numbers in the array basically so we will go to numeric and find out add array elements then i will just place it in here i will connect that in here and this will give me the sum basically so i will divide this sum i will divide the sum of these numbers with the size of an array basically so it means that the total number of entities within this array so i will connect this array in here so it means that this will give me the size of an array means that this will give me the total number of entities within the array so i will divide that with this and now if i create an indicator this will give me the mean of 1000 numbers basically which is comes 500.5 uh, which is almost correct basically so the next thing is we want to calculate uh, the variance and standard deviation in lab view so for that purpose we will do like we will use a subtract function to subtract uh, if we go to the formula then we know that for the variance we need to subtract uh, the mean from the set of data basically so I will connect this array and then this mean I can even change its name as mean and then I will take the square root of it since we need the square so we'll go to numeric and then go to find out and find out the square basically we will do the square another way but this will be the proper form so after squaring this output array we will again make the submission add array elements which is in here and then what we need to do is according to the formula we need to divide it by the total number of entries means total n so we will just divide that again go to numeric use divide function and then divide it by the size of the array so after dividing that we can if i create an indicator then this will be mine variance basically so if i run my program right now so this is the variance that it gave me of 1000 numbers so this is not actually 1000 numbers this will give me 
if I create 1001 then now this will give me an actual 1000 numbers basically so this might be the variance but again I not sure but if I go with 1000 then this is the variance of the numbers basically so if I run my program so this is the variance and now I can even change its name and then again if I have to find out the standard deviation it is simple we just need to take the square root on the both sides so it means that we will just go to numeric palette again and then find out the square root function in it so here is the square root function and if I just connect the output of the variance and then create an indicator in here then this will give me the standard deviation if I run my program here is the standard deviation standard deviation So this is the standard deviation of the numbers from 1 to 1000. So that's how we can calculate using manually using LabVIEW. But there is another way to do this directly in LabVIEW. So for that purpose let's just delete this out the whole numbers basically. Whole thing but we'll keep our uh, input data set which is from 1 to 1000 and there we can find out if it is 1 to 1000 like by creating an indicator and then just elongate it and then make it visible to vertical scroll bar so if i run my program right now this will give me a vertical scroll bar option which goes up to 1000 which means that it gives me the numbers from 1 to 1000 so again i will go to my block diagram and delete this and now I will go to my mathematics palette and then probability and statistics and there I will find out a direct sub VI which is in the form of standard deviation and variance here I will just give the input of the data set that I have and there I can create all the indicators basically create an indicator of mean create the standard deviation indicator and also create a variance mean standard deviation and variance so here are all the mean standard deviation and variance that we have calculated before and these are all the same so that's how we can do it directly in LabVIEW the other way to do it there is one more way to do the same thing in LabVIEW by using an express VI so for that purpose let's just go to express and their signal analysis and their statistics and there i can find and place it and here i can choose the options which i want so i can choose arithmetic mean median mod sum of values root mean square standard deviation various kurtosis basically the statistics and skewness of the values so if i press ok now here I have to choose the signals basically so it means that either I can choose a signals from anywhere like if it is coming from my deck or from another source of data but here I will go with my same data set from 1 to 1000 so I'll input the signals in here which is automatically converted and this is now as convert to dynamic data type so if i double click on it it shows that what kind of data you want to choose so it automatically selects that it is 1d array of scalars basically so it is a single channel single channel basically so it means that it shows uh, you can use uh, multiple channels if you are using my deck or another source of data acquisition so right now i will press ok and create all the indicators here I can even choose the numeric indicator 
or as well as if I just close my program I can also choose the graphical or graphical indicator but I will go with numeric indicators in here so I can create a numeric indicator again of all the things but I will just show you how to create it you can find out all the other things by yourself so I will just place these all in here and now I will just align them out so that they will be more properly visible to you so if I left edges and then I'll use vertical gap so it is more aligned and now if I run my program as you can see in here again this is the arithmetic mean this is the variance this is the RMS value and this is the kurtosis of the numbers from 1 to 1000 so that's how you can do these simple calculations in LabVIEW easily